welcome back to another episode of Nights of Horrorween. And in this episode, I'm just going to come out and say Ghostbusters 2 is underrated. Come at me. Edgy intros aside, if you were there for the summer of 1989, that was an awesome summer. At one point, you had the new Tim Burton Batman, a sequel to Ghostbusters, a sequel to Indiana Jones, and a sequel to Star Trek. Granted, how you feel about Star Trek V or no, it was a pretty awesome lineup to see all of this in the theater at one time. Critically, people go back and forth on Ghostbusters 2 all the time. Is it a good movie? I think so. I mean, it doesn't really necessarily break new ground like the first one. The original Ghostbusters was such a perfect film with its blending of horror and comedy. You had all those great one-liners, you had all those great monsters and ghosts that genuinely look scary, you had the cool technology. What does Ghostbusters 2 have? Psychomagnetheric slime, mood slime, and there's a whole bunch running under New York City. But things have changed a lot for the Ghostbusters since their first film. They're a little down on their luck, and these days, they're throwing a party for a bunch of children. All the while, slime is under the building. So they pack up and go, got a grip, came equipped, grab their proton packs on the backs and they split. But what about Vigo, the master of evil? Tried to battle their boys? That's not legal. They're in control. What Ghostbusters 2 lacks in plot originality more than makes up with its great chemistry between the cast. Each of the cast members have their own style of comedy delivery, whether wacky and sarcastic or more dry and reserved. It's just great stuff. There are a lot of great quotable one-liners in this film, much like the original film. I think a lot of the sheer enjoyment from Ghostbusters 2 comes primarily from the dialogue. But there are a lot of visual changes between Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2. By 1986, the real Ghostbusters cartoon had come out, and it really changed the whole tone and how the characters look and act. Some of the visual changes, like Winston Zeddemore, who lost his mustache to reflect his more animated counterpart. Egon has a little bigger hair, although it doesn't have that rat tail at the end. It's not as much profanity. The ghosts aren't quite as scary anymore. There's no weird sex scenes like in that old abandoned fort. And of course, Slimer has to be there, and now he's more helpful to the Ghostbusters as opposed to just being like the total antagonistic nuisance that he was in the first film. There are some things that don't work as well in Ghostbusters 2. Some of that plot originality being one of the biggest factor. As funny as the movie still is, it's still basically a retread of the original Ghostbusters film. I don't think the music is as strong either, because that Elmer Bernstein score from the first film was so spooky and haunting. This one, it's obviously that late 80s, early 90s kind of hip-hop sound to it, which isn't entirely bad. But it, I don't think it fits quite as well as the first soundtrack does. And, of course, the main big bad, Vigo the Carpathian. I'll go on record that I think Vigo is one of the best, worst villains of all time. He's completely useless. He doesn't do anything in this film, other than he just stands there with his hands on his hips, says a couple menacing lines. Really, like, the best thing Vigo has going for him, whenever Vigo chose Janos as his lackey, servant, assistant, whatever you want to call him, he got the best PR person of all time. All of Vigo's... Greatness and attributes and everything is all attributed to Janos. Because he is Vigo! You are like the buzzing of flies to him! I mean, seriously, how can you not like a guy like that? I mean, you have Janos who's just over there hyping this guy up. Creepy little dude. And it's just funny. I mean, that, the whole thing about it, Vigo is utterly useless in this film. But man, he's got Janos. That's amazing. I would pay good money to see a Vigo and Janos sitcom, much like Larry and Valky and Perfect Strangers. I mean, you can see them riding bicycles together and doing like a, a Carpathian dance together, or the Carpathian dance of joy. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that one. In watching Ghostbusters 2 recently, one of the other things I really didn't like, Bill Murray just seemed detached from this film in comparison to everyone else. Granted, he does have some great one-liners, but again, it's like the Ghostbusters video game. I don't, well, he's definitely not that bad, because there are a couple of things in that where he just phones it in. The festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, 
Huh? But you can tell he's not as interested in Ghostbusters 2, and he doesn't really get into it as much. Overall, I like Ghostbusters 2. Sure, it has a couple flaws to it, but I think it was at that point when it was like a really good time for me. The summer of 89 was so much fun, and that was just another one of those aspects. I remember being so excited for a new Ghostbusters coming out, and I still look back and I have a lot of fun memories associated with it. And I did think Ghostbusters 2 really brought some good ideas to the lore. I liked the mood slime and the slime blowers, and yeah, as I said, I liked Vigo. He was fun, even though he's... Well, you know. I dreamt I was in a painting with ponies. It was nice. I think a lot of what the film has going for it is kind of that just infectious feel-good attitude to it. It's a fun movie. Overall, with the cast chemistry and everyone, for the most part, looks like they're having a really good time in the movie, simply, I enjoy Ghostbusters 2 for what it is. And then, of course, we have Ghostbusters 3 next year. Although, is it really Ghostbusters 3? I mean, they did have that video game, which was considered pretty much canon to this. Ah, they'll figure it out. I don't know what they're going to call it. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by, and I apologize for the delay in my Nights of Horrorween episodes. My camera went missing in the last week or so. It just gone. And it slowed down production because the original version of Ghostbusters 2 was on that camera. I'm guessing somebody has it now and hopefully they're getting a good laugh out of it because I'm not going to see it and neither are you. But I got a new camera. I'm back. I'm going to try to get a couple other episodes out before Halloween. That said, thank you so much and I will see you that next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.